Hey, legends. I just want to apologize. We had some technical difficulties during the Mostum podcast. It was a banger. The video didn't work well, and the for some reason it stopped recording about 20 to 30 minutes before we finished. So I'm still going to release it because it was good. But because Mostyn's a fucking legend, I'm going to be doing another one with him when I get back from Japan. So stay tuned, and thanks for the support. See you. But it's not live. No, 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 no. I've done a couple live. I did a, um, like when there's a big fight on me and my boys will get hammered and we'll live stream us oh, yeah. like watching it. <laughs> yeah, that's good. But yeah. we actually fucking are on now. Yeah, we well, should do that um, next time. Next time we might Next fight, time there's a fucking boxing fight, I'll have you on. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you and Monday and But something. you guys should fucking, you should um, do that same thing and then do uh, when I'm actually fighting. That would be sick. That would be sick. Yeah, well, it's going to be coming up hopefully in September. So, Oh, you got one planned? Same promotion, obviously. Same promotions here in South Australia. Very nice. Yeah, man. Fuck yeah. yeah, It's going to be sick. So for anyone who isn't aware, this is Moss and Neiman, the WBA Oceana Oceana Cruiserweight Champion. That's the one. Of the world. That's it. Fuck yeah. (laughs) Fuck yeah. Of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, uh, we were trying to figure it out before. You don't even know your own record. I knew it better than you did. That's it. Ten yeah. and one, nine, yep. nine finishes. Yep. What a fucking record. Yeah. And a, like over sixty amateurs. Yeah. What age did you start? Fourteen, bro. Fourteen. Yeah, man. That was your first fight. Yeah. So I had. I started off in the back shed down at Wilf Withies near Port Adelaide. Um, when I was when I was a young fella, and then about he was like. a sort of tough old dude you're all good no, yeah yeah going. yeah keep going. Nah, he's like a tough old dude and um you know so i started off there it was doing sort of sparring punching on in there and um you know punching on with a lot of sort of the the street guys coming in and stuff like that so he's seen a fair bit of talent with me um in sort of about four months and that's when i had my first fight yeah and uh yeah i had my first fight as a middleweight um one i was looking at videos of you and you look like fucking like so different oh what when what which ones when i was young fella yeah 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 but what weight was that at sorry the, the youtube ones no your first fight what weight was it again oh no that was a 73 kilo 73 so. you were still a fucking big kid yeah no <laughs> massive yeah for that for that age and i was pretty ripped as well like, i didn't have any fat on me yeah i was gonna say even in your earlier fights you were like pr- really lean yeah and then i stacked a bit more weight on when i started to get up to around about that 20 years old mark as you um, do yeah yeah so i started to get that sort of a uh, bit more of a rounder sort of body that's what i had like it's probably just under 100 kilos you got that tyson build yeah man yeah yeah so and then i was just throwing down so big heavy shots were you were you always watching boxing when you were a kid or oh not always mike tyson man mike tyson just 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 um vicious fighters they're the only ones i'd watch um i've never been into the whole technical side of it um you know and it's all it's always been about that raw kind of fighting so yeah, I, I used to watch a fair bit of him, but um, that was. Really you can definitely see like the influence on it, just from your like body shot to head work with your left with your like lead hook to mm. the head. It's fucking good, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was we were talking before, and that f- they, everyone go on YouTube if you haven't seen it. Is it Scott? Scott Lewis. Scott Lewis. Mm. Is, that was your first pro fight. First pro fight. Yeah. Those body shots were fucking horrendous. Yeah. That cunt was having a bad time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The left rips, man. I think it took you longer to walk out than to do the fight. (laughs) It's like your last fight too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that was only about this. This last, well, that one there, with that one, Scott Lewis was one minute, some one minute twenty seconds or something like that. Don't you feel like a fucking asshole making someone fly all the way to Australia and then fucking? Nah, really. (laughs) (laughs) What was the What was the last fight? Was that two minutes? No, the last fight was just over a minute, like minute and one second or something. Yeah, so for a 10-rounder as well, so scheduled. He was moving or like, it looked like it was going to be okay up until that. Up until that point. Yeah. 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 And do you, do you want to, like, that war? Do you want, as a fighter, as, like, a fucking warrior? Because we were talking before how you class yourself as 
a fighter, not a, mm. like a, you're not a technician. No, 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 no. So do, does all? I imagine all fighters like really want that one war where yeah. they like overcome it. Yeah, I think for me, man, it's just like I get in there to do as much damage as I possibly can, and that's what I do. Like that's all I'm in there for. Do like in in my, in my mind, all I'm thinking is if I can go in there and break this bloke's ribs or break his jaw or break his nose, smash something. Um, that's it. This fight's going to be a lot easier, and I'm going to be home before you know it. So that's that's my aim. Is so yeah, right. You know, people say to me, they go, "Oh, don't you wish it would go a little bit?" Like, no, it's it's the same thing. You don't get paid for overtime. It's like you go in there. I guess there's different levels to being twisted as well. Like I just did a podcast the other day that's coming out this Friday with this bloke who's fighting called Tim Rogers. Yeah, young yeah, bloke. Yeah, he's fighting for a title for Diamondback MMA. Yeah, yeah. And he's a vicious motherfucker. Yep, yep. And he was saying, like, I really want that five round, like, I want blood all over me. I want to fucking get... And I'm like, okay, you're a psycho. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If that was me, I want to, I want every fight to go 32 seconds. Or yeah, th- yeah. Like- <laughs> yeah, no, that's it. Yeah. And I, I think it all depends on kind of, like, what's going on. I mean, like, a war is good. A war is good. Like, and it's, it's, it is good to sort of, you know, once you get into those couple of rounds. It's probably good to know that you can do it, like, you've bettered them. But, like, because that's almost... It's almost more poetic than fucking... Like, if you go, like, eight rounds and you've been knocked down, you get back up and you end up finishing the fight after losing the fight, it's a rocky moment, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's it. Look, I think... And that's where I think there are a lot of fighters that are like that. You know, you look at their faces, a lot of their faces are smashed in. You know, me, I've got a perfectly straight nose just about because I don't go in there... I was going to say, you don't have much scar tissue or anything. No, nah, because I, I, I... Like, out of all my fights, even as an amateur, um, you know, and in the, in the heavyweight division... Um, I've always seen it that my aim is to get in there, do what I need to do, get that guy out of there as quick as possible. Um, and, go, eh? and the crowd love it anyway. It's like so many people come at me and they go, you know, part of me wants it to go longer, but then that other part of me really wants you to just fucking knock him out mm-hmm. and or, or hurt him. Um, and, you know, and that's the way majority of the time it goes. So, so we'll get into this later, but yeah. you've had... Um, you, we'll get into... Well, you had like a fucking pretty crazy life Mm -hmm. do you regret missing out on all those years when you could have been boxing no no i've got no regrets do you reckon it's like built you up to who you are now definitely there's things i wouldn't sit here and advise to people to do like i wouldn't i wouldn't encourage certain things um but i would say that i have no regrets because it's made me who i am it's given me all this character and i've learned um you know from 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 you know having a hard upbringing um, all the way through a hard upbringing and then obviously to go into boxing and then to get myself in some trouble, um, you know, end up in jail um, and, and then dealing with that. I mean, jail's very similar to a training camp anyway. It's very, very similar. It's pretty much identical. You probably were as fit as you ever oh, that's ever it. gotten in there. Yeah, yeah. And it was like, so, you know, boxing's a very lonely sport, you know, and, and as you, you might have a whole bunch of people that want to come watch your fight, right? Um, mm. But you end up in that ring on your own. And you've got you and one other person in there, and that's the person that you're trying to kill. Um, and and that's my aim. I go in there to try and kill him. Um, because if I go in there to try and kill him, right, most of the time you're not going to kill him, right? But you're going to go in there and you're going to fucking hurt him. So that's where, you know, for me, it's like I'm on my own. I've got to make that choice. I've got to do it. Uh, so it's not up to anybody else. Um, and so, yeah, like, so for me, you know, time of, you know, boxing, then getting myself in a bit, you know, I travelled the world. I was I was up there in the highlights. Went went to Milan, fought in the world championships as an amateur. I was non-stop, you know, in in the light. You know, spent um, nearly two years at the AIS as an amateur, the Australian Shooter Sport. Um, and then to you know go pro, uh, it was the lack of sort of getting fights and stuff like that. And while you were doing all this, were you like involved in? That life of crime. Bit of trouble. Oh, I mean, look, I mean, I was always rough, like, all the way growing up, you know, as a kid. Um, you know, I, I got uh, kicked out of school. Uh, I didn't like school. Um, I didn't like the... Because I didn't respect the teachers. I just didn't respect what they were about. You know, I'd look at them, i think, you're unfit. You sit there, like, you don't take care of yourself. And then you want to tell me that I should listen to you if I want to be successful. It's like, nah. You know, so that's why I never listened to them. Um, and so I, I'd moved and look, it's no, it's no fault of theirs, but that's just the way it is. Um, and so I sort of, you know, I was always getting in trouble. I was always carrying on, but, um, you know, the boxing kind of kept me, kept me level. 
Um, and then as I started obviously getting to the later, you know, into my later teens, um, that's when I started to really, you know, have some Fucking fun. Fucking ramp it up. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So no, I really ramped it up and then, you know, like it got sort of, got to that point, um, you know, where boxing started to get a bit boring. Yeah. Started to get a bit repetitive. I was doing it for a lot of years. Um, and then obviously, you know, then I got in trouble. Um, got myself, you know, I was partying, having some fun. Um, yeah, I was saying on the phone to you before, you got a very interesting name to Google. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's some good... There's, it, it, look, it's, it's different. I've, it's boxing, a bit of crime. Yeah, boxing. that's it. A little yeah. bit of this and a little bit of that. Um, you know, but it's... Um, yeah, it's sort of good. But, like, you know, for me, again, look, so many people say that to me. They go, oh, do you have any regrets? Do you regret this? And you go, oh, I actually don't regret it at all. Um, you know, because if I did, if I tried to take back any of that, it would change... It, you'd probably still be a cunt. Yeah, yeah well, 100%. You'd probably it, still it, be a little it, shit. It, it would change the now. Oh, well, it could have gotten a lot worse, man. It could That's have, the it, thing. It could, it could have, it could have been further. A, it could have been a lot fucking worse. And um, and so for me now, it's um, I'm happy. You know, I'm happy. And I'm, I'm, in, I'm back in the ring. I'm doing what I need to be doing. At what age are you? So I'm 34 now. See, that's still prime time for like in the heavier weight classes. Oh, oh man. Like, oh, look, this is the thing. Like all these other fighters that have been fighting, they've all got brain damage. They all talk like, you know, you put them in front of a microphone. They're like, duh, 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 Just duh, still duh. fresh. Yeah, man. I'm like, i got no injuries at all. And I was in the pickle jar for all that time, you know. So it's like when I talk about the pickle jar, obviously I'm talking about jail. But, you know, it keeps you preserved. You don't get injuries. You're sleeping all the time. You sleep, you train, you eat. You pretty much don't have a high calorie intake, so it keeps you in pretty good condition. Um, but again, I don't, I don't recommend it. Some blokes find it a lot less stressful than being out here too. It's way less stressful because like you, you just know what you you know what's happening every day. You don't have to think routine. about shit. People that sit there and go, oh, you know, oh, jail, fucking, you know, you want jail to go quick? You want to go, mate? How much fucking easier do you want it? It's like we like you train, you eat, you sleep, you do all of those things. It's like that's all I do out here pretty much anyway. Um, and it's, you just don't have any distractions. Um, you know, you've got your set routine of how the day goes. You get your breakfast, you get your lockdowns, you know, you get your phone time, all that sort of stuff. It's pretty much just a little system, really. Without, like, going into too much detail, what did you go in for? So I went in for a uh, sort of, like, a serious serious assault, serious assault charge, and it was a, you know, it was a gang-related sort of... Um, you know, alleged sort of thing that happened, and nah, it all got done. It was, I mean, it's ten years ago now. So, um, but away from all of that, well and truly. So, um, and now just on to. And the, you got cops ten ten for that. Nah, so. Oh, so, you cop more, but you did ten. No, no, no. So it was my actual sentence was uh, seven years, seven years, ten months on the top, with just under five years. Uh, yeah. on the bottom so in jail yeah so uh, so i did that i, I did that but I'm, i i was um i did the whole lot in uh, in jail that i had to do but then i got out on my actual um on my date and when did you how long ago was it since you've been out oh so i got out in 2018 end of 2018 august and did you start thinking you were going to make it were you plotting this kind of comeback to boxing while you were in jail do you know what i actually I was, I was, but um, the biggest parts of me was to, I wanted to get out, I wanted to start a family, I wanted, I, I had my son, you know, I had my son, which was, that to me was fucking awesome, you know, so, and that just, and again, look, the inspiration come from him, and it really did, and it was because, again, I, I, I would, and I have touched on this before, but I was thinking about it when I was in jail, and I think, you know, because I never sort of finished what I had to do with, with fighting, because I got the talent, I've got that there to to pretty much you know I would have won I would have won a world title, yeah, a lot earlier, if I had have kept at it, but at the same time I wouldn't trade off the experiences you know I had fun I carried on I got in trouble so fucking what, um, but you know so my inspiration for the fight like for fighting for getting back into it was was my boy really. So one thing that I've always been confused by, and it's one of the reasons I find. Or I think boxing is fucking hard to follow. There's so many different belts. So how many other cruiserweight belts would it take for you to unify all of them in Australia? No, so we wouldn't unify. Oh, well, I don't know how it works. Yeah, so. so that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, it's pretty much like a step. We've got a step like process. So like now I've won a regional belt, which is the WBA Oceana. Yeah. So that's a regional area as you know, whatever's included in the Oceana. That's what that covers. Now, so... We're planning another regional title, um, which will get my points up higher 
uh, in the world. Um, and that's, that's what we're sort of pushing towards. Um, and then what we can do is basically the higher I am in the ratings, the better the belts are that I can challenge for. And are you going to stay at Cruiser? I'm going to stay at Cruiserweight for now. Yeah, yeah. Stay at Cruiserweight for now. You look good at Cruiser. No, nah, cheers, man. You look yeah. healthy. Yeah, yeah. Like it's, I'm about 96 now, so I'm about six kilos over the five. Walking weight. around 96. Yeah. And that's with... <laughs> Having probably some dirty feeds and a drink. 100%, yeah, I've had a bit of Dirty Bird. I've had fucking, you know, like had some drinks, had some stuff, like the last couple of weeks. Um, and, you know, which I need that, you know, um, and it's felt great. Like it just replenishes the body. I've had, I had four months of hardcore fucking training coming down from 107 kilos. He's promoted the fuck out of that fight. He's got a lot of eyes on it. Yeah, man. Yeah, no, it was fucking sick. Like for South Australia, like to have a pro only show. Um, and for us, like we had about 650 people there for our first show. And it'll only get better too. Like the competition will only get better. Yeah. Like fucking, yeah, it'll, yeah. it'll only get, but the production will get better. Oh, that's it. Yeah. hundred percent. I mean, look, look, you've got like, you've got myself fighting, um, you know, I'm on the path to a world title. Um, so, and you've got Connor Reed fighting on the co-main. Um, and again, he's another one, like he's young, he's 21 or 22. Um, so he's fighting, he'll, he'll be fighting pretty much on every card we can get him on. Um, down here in South Australia, he he's a fucking and he seems like a gentleman too. He's a fucking gun. He's coming on Saturday. Hopefully, we can have a couple drinks. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, he's a cool lad. Like I've had a chat with him. I caught up with him after after the fights that just went. Um, the after the fights that just went. So um, we caught up, had drinks after it and stuff like that. And um, when we're out at the shenanigans, like, yeah, nightclub there. So that's a bit of fun. Um, but yeah, no, he's a, he's a good lad. So he's got a lot of talent, um, as well. So, you know, and there's, there's a few other guys we're looking at. So as well, trying to build it up as much as we possibly can, um, here in South Australia, you know, so, mm. um, and is Callum done pro fights yet or nah, is he still an amateur? Nah, Callum Peters, he's an amateur. Yeah. So he's an amateur, but he's, he, he's building up to it. At what point as an amateur, are you like, all right, let's get it. Let's fucking just do it. Yeah, so so with as far as with, with amateur and pro, like just to go on that, is like amateur and pro, it, I, I, there, there's no need to have amateur fights to go pro because they're two totally different styles. I was going to say, because L- Lomachenko had like fucking 290 yeah, yeah, amateur it, fights. Like, yeah, so they're, they're very active over there, man. They've got the ability, like their countries are all right next to each other. We're, we're on a fucking island. So, that's the thing. Yeah, so we, we can't get that kind of activity going on here um so whether it's pro or whether it's amateur but but amateur boxing is a totally different system than the professional boxing system totally different so that that um misconception that people have that you know you've got to have a long amateur career you know to have a good pro career is a joke um even though i fought a lot as an amateur um that was only because i had that same kind of thought process that everyone else was going on about that oh you need to go to the olympics you need to do this you need to do that did yeah. you ever get close to going to the Olympics? I, I would have went to the Olympics. I, I, I'd, I'd, um, so I'd won all the Australian titles. I did everything I had to do. I, I won the uh, the tryouts for the Commonwealth Games, but uh, to go to India, and then um, I chose not to go because I said I want to go pro instead. I don't want to waste any fucking time going overseas. Yeah, because like Olympic gold medal at the end of the day it doesn't mean anything. Oh, man, it doesn't it, bring you any. It, it, it means a lot. It does mean a lot, <laughs> but it, it it doesn't bring you any money. Yeah, no, nah, it, it, it doesn't. And and the thing is, like, if I, I've said it to heaps of people when they talk about it, and I say to them, look, who, you name me who the last, like when you're talking about the Commonwealth Games, for oh, example. Oh, fuck no. You say to them, like, hey, man, when was the last Commonwealth gold medal? There's fucking been heaps of them. And you know what? No one gives a fuck. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, no worries. From a promoting element, like, you know, with as a promoter, you can say, yeah. Looks good on the resume. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, it looks good as well. Like, having someone that comes out and just fucking knocks someone clean out. And then you're like... A Golden Gloves amateur fight? No, no. So, the one we've, the one we've got here... So is that the same? Is that the same entity? No. So yeah. So you've got the Golden Gloves are over. The Golden Gloves Amateur Championships are over in Queensland. I won that three times as an amateur. So that, that see, that's a fucking huge shit. That's almost bigger than the Commonwealth Games. Yeah. Oh, you've got so many people coming in, and it's it's so raw over there. Like it's hectic. It's held over there annually, like uh, in Caboolture. So I went up there, won it in 06, 07, and 08. And I, like so, and um, like they fucking hated my guts. The Queenslanders hate me. So how many fights is it? Uh, so I had, I'd had. It was it's, it's a three day event. It's a three day event. But we had, um, I had two, I had two fights. Yeah. So two fights um, each time on each event. Yeah. So yeah, some of the other lighter guys they get like three fights. So it's fucking always harder being a heavier bloke with combat or 
with combat sports in general, I actually don't know any fucking heavyweights <laughs> in MMA in Adelaide either. Oh, you Besides, don't? um, there's a Balkan bloke. Pe- yeah, Peter. Oh fuck, I don't remember his name. But he's a weapon. He's on his way to go to the UFC. But besides that, Balkan the, Bear. Balkan Bear. Yeah, yes. nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, uh, Brando. Brando, that's the one. Yeah, he's awesome. He politely really told me to go fuck myself. Oh, did he? Mm. Why's that? Because I was supposed to message him because I did a <clears throat> a podcast with one of his training mates, mm. and I was supposed to message him, but I never got around to it. And then one day, I can tell I know why he did it, and I respect it, yeah. so it's fine. But I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, yeah. I seen a picture of him one day with um, like just pop up with Israel Adesanya and all that, yeah. and I was like, oh fuck, I forgot to message him. And I messaged him and I said, oh, if you went, if I don't even know if you're living in Adelaide anymore, yeah. but when you come down, jump on the pod. And he was like, oh, where are all you cunts when I, when I wasn't? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and I was like, all right, that's fair. Yeah. I was like, I didn't mean to like offend you. And he was like, nah, he was cool about it. Yeah. But he, he was very polite. No, but he, really ba- cool. he essentially told me to go fuck myself. Yeah, yeah. Nah, look, he's really cool, man. Like, he's, he's You actually, fighters are emotional people. Yeah, well, that's it, man. <laughs> he's a like, touchy fucking subject. <laughs> And no, nah, but it is, it, it is as a fighter, like, you know, and it, it, And it's true, like, where were you when I wasn't fucking yeah, doing big things? Yeah, you get that exposure, man. You want to try and get the exposure. Like, I, I said, and that's what, that's what I'm trying to do down here now, like. Yeah, I, I waited till you fucking won to invite you yeah, on. Yeah, that's it, 100%. <laughs> you're like, yeah, man, fucking come in. <laughs> but yeah, no, nah, he's a really good guy. Yeah, Bulk and Bear, man. Like, he's actually helped me a fair bit. He's like, a savage, too. Yeah. No, he is. He's really cool, man. And I really hope that he gets into this UFC and fucking starts. Have you ever, like, dipped your toes in MMA? Just no. like a little bit. No, I've never have. You no. punch harder in four ounce no. gloves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I never have. And I think a few people have said it to me. But again, I don't have that. Um, I, I've never put it. If I put the dedication that I've put into boxing into that, yeah, absolutely. Like, but what size? I was talking about this with Miles today. What size gloves do you wear? So ten ounces, but why do they look like fucking four ounces yeah, on you? Yeah, because they're fucking. They they're differently. They're differently balanced. On you've got an amateur ten ounce and then you've got a, a professional. They're 10 tiny. Ounce. They are, yeah. They have. They're not are. that much fucking more padded than an MMA guy. No, nah, they're not because all the weights in the wrist. That's all, such a misconception, yeah, eh? Man. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, you can see the. It like, looks like skin tight. Like yeah. it looks fucking insane. Well, yeah. I was seeing and I was like, "There's no way that's ten ounces." No, nah, because I train in twelves. Yeah, no, nah, they are. They are, and you can feel like your knuckles through them, uh, even with even with wraps on. And so, like, I love them for, like, body work and that because when you're working the body with those small gloves on, it's pretty much just, like, punching with your knuckles. You do have pretty fucking big hands, though, too. Yeah, well, trying to get my fucking hands in there. Like, I almost couldn't get my hands in these last gloves on the last show. Well, we we almost have to do my wraps again because I was trying to fucking get my hand in. I couldn't get them in Do you have to wear specific gloves? Do you wear your own gloves or is there a specific glove set for the night? Yeah, so in, in, in title fights, you got to have uh, you got to have brand new gloves. So it's like a part of their fucking rules. But like everyone else, like if you're just fighting in a normal fight on the night, you just use the gloves that are, that are given Do you to put you. them on beforehand to kind of like flex them a little bit? Yeah, well, you do like your warm up and shit with them on and that. But yeah, brand new gloves are fucked. Like I like the secondhand broken up ones a bit like because you can... It's not as stiff. Nah, and you can get your knuckles through like, you know, I've fought on some shows and fucking man, their gloves are so shit. And, but it's so good because they're just you're pretty much punching on with <laughs> with bare knuckles you know so and you just feel their their skull you know against your hand so and i don't have any hand injuries or anything like that so it's fucking good i was gonna say you're pretty like unscathed no, no, that's no, what no. happens when all your fights go fucking one round though. hey that's it man you know so and, and and it's the same thing as an amateur you know I, I think it's very important to not cop that damage not cop you know like the doctors have said to me when they've done mris and stuff like that before they're like you know you got a really clean brain your brain's very mm. you know nice for a for do you a spar a lot i don't spar a lot nah nah and i think a lot of sparring um look i would i would spar more if i could get it down here in south australia i like more experience a lot of cunts lose their fucking year, fighting years in the gym though you're spot on man like, like a lot of people get punch drunk and have never had a fight gym wars man gym yeah wars. Dude. gym wars and there's no fucking money in it there's no nothing and no one fucking cares it's just pride it's just pride man and like but look don't get me wrong like back in the early years of like my my fighting it was, was all about that like we started off in the back shed where it was just like literally weekly people just getting fucking iced like, i got i got pretty fucking knocked out on my feet in the gym oh, once oh beautiful it was yeah. fucking horrible yeah. <laughs> i deserved it but yeah. it was horrible yeah yeah 
Ah, oh, look, these things have you know, and it, but it is it's where where um you got to look at it is that that's okay maybe once well obviously we aim not to, but yeah, if that's continuously happening and sparrings like that where where people are comping damage, well, it's pretty stupid. Have you ever been knocked out? No, no. Have you ever been rung like really bad? Oh, like rocked? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I've been rocked, but not, um, you know, by where I've been hit clean with big shots. Not necessarily as a pro, I've ne- I, not, but as, a, as an amateur, like against the big, like, uh, Islanders and stuff like that. Like, I was going to say, in heavyweight division, you'd need a good chin, but a good chin doesn't matter when a heavyweight's throwing at you, I guess, does it? No. Like, everyone's chin's a bit fucking chinny when you're dealing with... 140 kilo men yeah yeah look and, and like the thing is like it depends on how you kind of take your shots you know like me if i get hit my first thing is that i won't move I, for one i won't try and walk i'll stand i'll just lock my feet to the ground and that's the best thing you can possibly do just to gain your composure yeah, again. because the last thing you want to try and do is take a step because then you're gonna fucking stumble yeah yeah and so and also as well my next thing is just to fucking instantly throw straight back you know so because as soon as you throw straight back and if you connect which you more than likely fucking will because they're going to be standing there thinking i've rocked him and then bang you connect it's like that kind of sets everything back up again you know you're like oh yeah I'm, I'm that's cool. why you never take pictures of your shots what it was that take pictures of your shots what when you rock someone and you stand there for a second oh, that, and admire yeah. it <laughs> but that's it yeah but people don't realize they're doing it man yeah and taking until, pictures yeah until you fucking rock them and then you know and it, it is it's it's the it's the thing of like they wait around that they admire their own work yeah man yeah, yeah. so it's, it's like fuck that was a nice shot off oh, <laughs> yeah yeah maybe it wasn't maybe it wasn't good enough you know yeah so, um but yeah man it's like the um yeah like the gym wars and stuff like that they're no fucking good having a good gin is a blessing and a fucking curse because i've seen some mma fights and boxing fights Mm. where it would have benefited them so it would have benefited (laughs) them so much if they just got fucking knocked out in like like two rounds ago like they've taken an extra 10 years off their life because they're tough yeah yeah no look i think i think that is a big thing as well like a lot of guys do cop a lot of fucking damage yeah there's a are you familiar with who tony ferguson is tony ferguson uh, real i've heard a name real fucking punch drunk motherfucker but like the toughest human you ever there was a fight he fought with just this bloke justin gaethje yeah it got to the point where he they the fight stopped but his body shut off but he wanted to keep fighting yeah so he was like pushing towards but then he's like he started shaking his yeah, head yeah, yeah, yeah. like it was real fucking sad to watch yeah, yeah like his head was shaking like yeah, like yeah. trying to get blood out of his nose and fucked up. His body didn't want to go, but he wanted to go. Yeah, just keep pushing. And his body just fucking <clears throat> shut down. Yeah. It's like that's the perfect example of just someone who's too tough. Yeah, yeah. No, or, look. Or you could have a gun chin like Tyson Fury and get knocked clean out oh. and get back up. <laughs> yeah. Oi, that was a good one, wasn't it? That that's was, the best one. Yeah, that that's the good. best example. Yeah. Have you seen that one when he punched himself? When he punched the uppercut. when he uppercuts himself, and he say, he actually says that that was the hardest. Thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> so like, Wilder fucking knocked him clean yeah. out. No, no, I know, I know, and then up, yeah, no, he's like I think it was, and he um, won the round. Like no, no. He, if he didn't get ten, if he didn't, he, he made it like a nine eight round or something, no, no. like an eight eight, because yeah. he won the round. That's yeah. fuck. It's so. Is he boxing again? Do you follow boxing? Do I follow boxing? Yeah, no, I do. You do? I, like I do, like, but I'm not. I'm not one to be overly. You know, I'm not right in amongst all of it. I only have... You keep an eye on of, it. Yeah, but selected sort of parts of it, really, for me. Because a lot of it, you know, a lot of it is getting fucking poisoned these days. You know, Who's like, the cruiserweight champ in America? Or in, in, a, in, in, in the, the main... World, in the in world, world, yeah. Yeah, so you've got, like, you've got the main belts and stuff like that. There's a few guys, Um, you know, there was one guy that just lost, Okalai. He's um from over... Oh, so, they, so the cruiserweight belt's not unified? It's nah, like broken up everywhere. Nah, there's a, like, you've got the WBA. That's what know. confuses me with boxing. There's heaps, man. Like so, But you've got to look at the main ones. The main ones like your WBA, your WBO, um, you've got the IBF, and then you've got the... Uh, you've got the... What else is there? There's, fucking, there's one more I'm missing. But the WBC. WBC. Which They're, one's Eddie Hearns? Nah, Eddie Hearn, um, he's... Oh, no, nah, then you've got... Then there's another one fucking... Uh, I don't even know what that one's called, but there's fucking heaps of them, man. Like Floyd, that's Mayweather. that's one thing that yeah. uh, boxing needs to abolish. Yeah, they need to fucking abolish it and just have, like, even just three promotions or two. 
yeah, yeah. Like yeah, it's yeah. yeah, it's it's so much. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of money in it, man. That's why, like, he's fucking all these different sanctioning bodies. It's crazy there. that there's so much money in it because yeah. it doesn't feel like it's as big. But people are still, I don't know where they're fucking plucking fucking two hundred million dollars <laughs> to pay fighters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, they are. It is massive. I mean, compared to like, yeah, what the MMA guys and they're getting paid. Um, oh fuck all. Yeah, yeah. That's peanuts. why the MMA guys are coming over the boxing. But on MMA in MMA cards. The minimum you're gonna earn, I think, is t- uh, fifteen and fifteen or twenty twenty. Yeah. Twenty, but you twenty rock up, twenty win. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. think that's the minimum, but like that's on the bottom of the card. Even if you're on the bottom, I think in boxing, they pay the top end so heavy that the prelim fighters and shit get absolutely nothing. Yeah. No. It's like with it depends again. Like it depends on. Whether you sell, it depends like, on marketability. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and that's what they're like. They're working out now. It's all about like who can market, you know, who. And it's like, but back in the back in the day, they like, it was like, it was they just wanted the best fighters. Mm. You know, whoever was fighting, whoever was there, not. Who's out. your favorite current fighter? Current fighter, mm. I would to say, watch. I would say Canelo. Canelo, I would say Canelo only because he's just so he's so simple, he's a man. Fucking yeah, destroyer of fucking world. Yeah, that but he's just he's just so simple his with head like, movements, how, so good. Yeah, that's what I mean though. But he's just his boxing is so good. Like he doesn't he doesn't he doesn't you know, prance. Uh, yeah, he's he not a loma. He doesn't nah, prance around. Nah, he just he just comes in and um he's like he's so cluey, so smart. Makes it look so simple. Um, and I don't really like watching the lighter guys necessarily. But he, he hits like a fucking truck. Yeah, he's cool, man. Like, I like watching his stuff. Um, you know, a lot of the heavier guys, I'd say, like, with heavyweights. Um, what weight class did he move up to and lost Lost within the last three years? He, he, who? Um, Canelo. Canelo. Oh, he, man, he moved up to Cruiser. I was going to say, was that Cruiser he moved up to? <laughs> yeah, he went up to Cruiser. Like he's that. a thick motherfucker, though. No, he is. Seeing yeah. you yeah. now, you's a probably, he's probably more, like, a couple inches shorter than you. At least. I think he's about five seven, or and something. he's on that Mexican fucking supplement diet. Yeah, yeah he's a yeah. unit. Yeah, no, he is. Yeah, but he's just like I guess it's all like if he if he came up against a true cruiserweight, which is he'd like, be fucked. Yeah, he would. Yeah, he 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 if he fought someone that was coming down from say 95, 96 or something like that, or maybe a little bit more than coming down to that ninety kilos. Yeah, he'd, he'd be fucked. He'd have a lot of fucking trouble because that because that bloke was small for a cruiser. That's why I was umming and ahhing in my head. I was like, was it cruiser? Because that bloke wasn't like massively big than him nah and it's like Roy Jones used to do the same thing like Roy Jones used to sort of fluctuate up down like he used to go cruiserweight um, and then he'd go like light heavyweight heavyweight but he never fought any of the real big heavyweights mm. do you know what I mean was it Roy Jones he had a massive shoulder or bicep injury throughout his whole career so one of his arms was jacked as fuck and the other one was really weak <laughs> yeah no, I don't know yeah he had like that's he only like could use like one arm for like a lot of his career yeah 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 yeah, no. Nah, so I, I had such an yeah. odd style. Yeah, he's got that real kind of like turkey jerky fucking style. Yeah, I don't like that shit. Like, I don't like the whole hands down bullshit. You stay in real tight with the high guard. Yeah, yeah. The whole hands down bullshit. And I think it's like really, it's 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 fucking getting really bad in the amateur scene. Like be, building fighters up, they teaching them all this bullshit of like MMA shit. Oh, it's, it's just <laughs> it's like, MMA. Yeah, it's low, MMA. low low hands, man. Like it's. I just, guess with low hands though, you can't you. I guess it would be harder. The the plus side to it is it is harder for the opponent to see where the punch is coming from. Yeah, I told. Yeah, because it's coming from your hips. Like you're not really kind of focusing on your opponent's hips, so it's a bit harder to see where the punch is coming from. Yeah, but you're also probably going to get knocked out if you're fighting a good boxer. Definitely. Definitely. I mean, when it's you, like switching stances, that's not big in boxing either. No, because it's like if you're especially switching stances against someone who is that. You know, say, say for example, Southpaw, Southpaw. Yeah, if you're an orthodox and then you switch to, uh, and you're fighting a Southpaw and you switch to Southpaw, well, why would you just, you, you're disadvantaging yourself because he knows he's a Southpaw. He fights a Southpaw all the time. You've now switched to Southpaw. You're never as good in one as you are the other. Nah, mm. nah. So it's that switching. And I mean, look, MMA, man, there's like a lot of. It's different because there's variables. There's like if you're, if you're a Southpaw. And you're an orthodox. It opens up kicks because your arm's not like it's it's heaps. That's different. what I mean, man. Like, it's, it is makes, there any pluses and bonuses into fighting? Or you're an orthodox fighter. I'm orthodox, yeah. So, is there any benefits to fighting an orthodox, or uh, it'd be more annoying? I mean, if anything. No, you mean fighting a fighting a fighting a southpaw? Yeah. Sorry. So, fighting a southpaw. Majority of the time, as a southpaw, someone like you're fighting orthodox versus a southpaw. 
majority of the time someone's going to get fucking hurt because it's it's opposites. I was going to say, does that because that by by nature you would be circling into your lead hands. Or are you circling away? Yeah, so, well, it depends on what way someone naturally moves, unless you're mindful of it. Obviously, you won't walk towards their power hand. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, na- like, it depends. Some people, that, you know. I always move to the right. You always move to the right. Always. Okay. So what are you? Orthodox. Orthodox. Yeah, so orthodox. You're always moving to the right. Yeah, so that's away from their right hand. Yeah, know? that's because so, my lead leg's on the back. Yeah, so, so it's like, right I just man. move that way. You're naturally safe. Yeah. Until someone comes at you. <laughs> <that door. laughs> and then you're fucked. Yeah. You know, so it, 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 again, it comes down to like, if you're walking, if you're walking in that direction and you've got your fucking hands down by your hips, well, and you get left hooked. Was an old mate Southpaw that you fought recently? Wasn't no. He? No, he wasn't? No, no, oh, okay. no, he was a uh, orthodox. Well, I probably didn't know. I don't know what you mean. No, he was orthodox. He was you weren't orthodox. in there quick enough to I don't really give a fuck with it. Look, I, that's one thing I don't do is I don't... You don't really, stress over this. I don't little... pay attention to who the guy is. I don't pay attention to um, what he's going to do either because... Are your camps pretty scattered? Lower, like, are you pretty structured or is it kind of, I'm going to train over here, then I'm going to train there, and then I'm going to... Yeah, I'm sort of like all over the place. Bit of a gypsy. Really. Yeah, I'm a bit of a gypsy. Do you reckon yeah. it's time to like, kind of now that you've got the title and you can see like things going well would you are you thinking about tightening it up or you you like how it's going for no, I, like, you? I like how it's going man i like how it's yeah. going like no i've got my good people like i've got joshy franks and that he's a really good friend of mine he um he trains me as well so he helps me out a lot do you um, have people that help you with your weight cut and shit um no i do that myself <laughs> really i've been around it long enough man i know how to sort of do it either way it's shit doesn't matter if you've got a professional there helping you do you have to cut weight for heavyweight um not for heavyweight, no. Nah, for cruise weight. What what kilos heavyweight? How many kilos? Um ninety point seven kilos um plus. Plus. Yeah. What's so the cutoff? Nothing. There's no cutoff. Nah, bro, nah. Really? Nah, not There's a uh, two hundred and sixty-five pound limit in MMA. Yeah, it's 130 hundred and thirty. Yeah. There's motherfuckers that have to cut weight to make that. Yeah. Yeah, Francis Ngannou. You seen that bloke? Yeah, he's a monster. Yeah, he has to cut weight to get to yeah, he's a big the heavyweight dude. limit. Yeah. John Jones beat the fuck out. Would beat the fuck out of him though. Yeah, because what it was? Uh, John Jones just beat. Um, what's his fucking? What was that? Cyril Garn. No, did he? Who did nah, he fucking who was bash? No, nah, who was the fucking last fight that he had? Um, Cyril Garn, I think, wasn't it? No, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, French I'm not, bloke. I'm not overly that. Yeah, ma- yeah, that was him. Sorry, yeah, yeah. you're right. You're Beat right. the you're shit right. out he of him. He's the one that fucking knocked out that Bam Bam. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know that Bam Bam's funny. He cracks me up. Hey, would you go to an MMA event? Oh, I fucking know would. Yeah, UFC no, in Sydney is going to be fucking Yeah, loose. no, I love it, man. I, I, I think anything... anything violent. Yeah, that's exactly right. Anything to do with violence, mate, I'm fucking there. Well, you know, to a degree. Um, you know, <laughs> within the law, yeah, within, within, within the law. Um, but yeah, no, it's the, the, it's that's the, like the rawness of it, man. I fucking love it. So I don't have any judgment, like any judgments on anything. Like, but as far as what, it, as long as they're in there throwing down, I can't fucking stand it when I know that there's two of them getting in the cage that don't want to actually fucking throw down and they're fucking around. That's what bores me when they're just rolling around on the ground and and no one's actually doing anything that does get to me a little bit yeah because um, it's, it's not your wheelhouse you don't know what the fuck's going on it's not it's, it's not appealing to you no nah, man it's not appealing to me at all and i just think like you know you got to do something you've got to fucking hurt someone or do something like it's and and that's why i like like i mean uh, adesanya's last fight against that what's that guy that he fought the one that he just alex Pereira. yeah that fight there like that was cool they're both stand up fucking that was cool though, world man, class kickboxers. But they just fucking stood there like and I was like stand this and bang. Is cool. And I was like, this is actually really cool. And I, I don't overly follow it, but I was like, fuck yeah. Even I got like I was like, oh that was fucking. Do you know sick. what I've always found really fucking odd? Muay Thai has never taken off. Like to the heights of MMA or boxing. Yeah, it'll yeah. never be there. No. Nah. It's a great sport, but it'll never be to that height of Muay Thai is fucking hectic. But I, I it's think. everyone's favourite part. Of fighting. Yeah. Like, it's is. kicking and punching. And elbows. And fucking elbows and knees. Like Elbows it's, are hectic. I mean, the elbows... Of that's, they're gross. That's when you start getting gross, like, cuts. Yeah, that's that's what, something that I, like, sit there and look at when I watch. Like, there was a bloke I used to watch, um, that uh, Nathan Carnage. He's, um... He, they used to say his fucking elbows were like the knives, and he just split cunts open. Have you ever seen Liam Harrison? No. 
Uh, he's a gross motherfucker. Yeah, it, they are cool. They're the only biggest thing. Like, I don't like the Muay Thai, um, the Muay Thai stance is yuck. I think it's, it's... It's very close together and square. It's just not even balanced, though. Like, you get knocked off your feet so easily from, good like, a good puncher. Someone that's going to just power through you. And like, Would you do a mixed rules fight? In what way? Like... First know, round boxing, second round Muay Thai? <laughs> Yeah, well, I guess so. If I could just take the kick, if I could just take the kicks to the leg, I'd just fucking run in and just go for it. That's what I'd always sort of thought I'd just do. I'd go in there and just fucking smash as hard as I can, cop a few kicks, let the adrenaline. They did. A, are you familiar with One FC? One FC, oh, I've heard of it. One FC is like it. a. Ma- it's like the UFC of Asia. It's it's a Singaporean promotion, but it's yeah. massive. Yeah. They do weird mixed fights sometimes, and they did one with this bloke called Demetrius Johnson. He's like the best in the world. At, he's a tiny fella. He's 125 pounds, whatever that is, like yeah. 52 kilos. Yeah, yeah. He fought the best, one of the best Muay Thai athletes in the world. Yeah. And they did first round Muay Thai, second round MMA, and they did it for six rounds or five rounds. Yeah, yeah. Um, it got to the second round and within 12 seconds, he was submitted and out of there. Like, it's, yeah, like. It's, yeah, no, I don't. Yeah, I don't really sort of follow all the different ones because I know there are a few of them, but it's just, it's mainly. It's a lot to follow. There's a lot is, of yeah. shit. It is. Yeah. There's a lot. I, I couldn't even tell you what's the next big boxing fight. Oh. They didn't advertise Loma and fucking Haney at all. No, there's not really like. It, I, I, again, I don't really get overly into it because it's a lot of it is just fucking promotion, 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 and like then nothing a, happens. Nah, like you, just, you want to see people that are actually going to go in there and, and, and fucking go on with it. But what's the what's but the, the, the next big fight? I mean, Anthony Joshua is supposed to fight in oh, in Dubai or yeah, some shit. He puts me to fucking sleep, man. He's boring, horrible. Man. Oh, it's fucking, he just he looks good. He's got a good body. He's got he speaks well, and that's all they. Oh, I'd about. watch him and Wilder. Him and Wilder. Wilder can like at least fucking bang. Like, I mean, Joshua's just... That's all they can do. Yeah, he's just like, you know... Like, like the reason, like, I follow... Probably the only person I really enjoy is fucking Tyson Fury because he's actually a funny cunt. He's hilarious. He really makes me laugh because he just... He's so (laughs) fucking funny, just drilling cunts. If he wasn't English, he'd be an Aussie. Oh, 100%. But it's just just his attitude of, like, where he just doesn't have that, you know, and that's where I really relate to that, where it's like, you just don't give a fuck. Like, you don't care. He's just in there just because he's like, well, fuck, I don't care. I don't care how fit you are. I don't care, you know, how great you are. He's so good, too. Yeah. Like, he's he's so good. He's just... That guy would be the most awkward... It'd be like, horrible. Yeah, you look at him, and that's what that's the fucked part about it for these folks. He'd be able to punch you from further than I am away. Oh, 100%. He's like fucking seven foot tall, man. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's and, he, and he hits hard now. Yeah, and, like, he's, and he's heavy. And, like, he's, and he just leans on you and yeah. leans on And he, he has like a fucking really like he's hard to hit like you wouldn't be able to fucking reach him no it's you just have to <laughs> pressure him pressure him pressure him but I, I honestly I just think that like I, I look at him and he just makes me fucking laugh like and it's like because it's you know he is drilling these guys and he, he's so awkward and it's like it's hard you know you look at Wilder like fucking looks sick Looks, man, he's still six foot six. Like, he's still a fucking monster, but he looks like a fucking... He looks so small. Yeah. He looks so small compared to <laughs> compared to Fury. Um, and, you know, Fury's, what, 143 kilos or something. Um, so, you know, it's, it's like 100 kilos off a quarter of a ton. So so you you do have plans for uh, another fight this year? September. Yeah, man, yeah. Do you so, have an opponent that you won't say, don't have to say, but do you have one lined yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. So we're, we're, we're putting one together at the moment. Like, we don't... We we put offers out to we put our offers out to people within Australia, like fighters within Australia, but um, their promotions, their management, and all that sort of stuff, mate. They just fucking, they, they 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 just want fucking an arm and a leg, money wise, and then that's how mixed up all these blokes are. Because they're know? not names. No, that's right. But they, well, yeah, no, that's right. But they just want all this money, and you think, mate, like, what are, what are we here for? Are we here to fight, or are we here to fucking be accountants? And money comes, though. Well, that's what I mean. Money like, comes naturally. Yeah, money's good. Like, we all want to be paid, and everyone wants to be paid, and that's fine. But I mean, if it's like, if it's like, if you're challenging someone, if you're if you're sitting here saying, like me, I've just gone and done all this hard work to get this title. That's right. like if you seen him in the street and you just wanted to fight, and he said, no way, I got to go to my accountant for. <laughs> oh, <I'm>, well, that's- <laughs> Well, that's what these folks would fucking do, yeah. you know. And so that's why. So we've 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 kind of looking beyond uh, here in Australia until they start talking some fucking sense. Like you've got the New South Wales, you've got the Queensland. They're like locked in their own little fucking world of you know of where they want to control everything. But it's like we started our promotions down here in South Australia for this very reason because we don't want to be getting fucked around continuously. 
Um, and, and they're the, also probably a bit biased with their judging and oh, shit. They're, they're, yeah, they're hundred percent biased. Um, but they just they they don't like. I didn't hear boo before I started these promotions. Before I got anywhere near this fucking title, I was calling cunts out flat out. I didn't hear boo from anybody. I didn't hear anything, you know. And it was like, but then as soon as it sort it starts to seem like oh they might be able to get paid for something, then all of a sudden I start fucking hearing, and it's just so obvious. Like it, and and people like spectators and people people looking onto it they fucking they see that and they're like this is just this is just embarrassing that's one thing we were talking about it off camera as well boxing's just like a really filthy sport sometimes like it can just <laughs> like it's a sport that i'm sure as a if you're a diehard boxing fan i'm sure there it's just been fucking a crazy ride for you yeah yeah because yeah. it would frustrate the fuck out of me being a boxing fan oh it does it does and everyone's even always... and, and you're a fucking fighter i can't believe how yeah, <laughs> frustrating yeah, yeah. it would be for you oh it's the worst when you get people coming out to you and they go to you oh like when you when you're fighting when you you know who you're fighting and you know and you go and they go, why don't you fight this guy why don't you fight that guy they don't want to fucking fight yeah and it's like well i fucking tried to fight him and it's not happening and then they they they, they, they do all this dodgy shit and you just think, man, can we just fucking, can we just get this happening? Can we just throw it fucking down or what? You know, so. Another thing with you knocking everyone out as well, don't leave it in the hands of the judges. No, that's exactly right, man. Yeah. But, you know, like, but it's like people say to me, we like, you know, people talk about it and they go, oh, you know, you shouldn't put training videos up and that because it freaks people out, fucking scares them. And that sort of stuff. hitting the bag. The bag doesn't hit back. Yeah, but I'm like, <laughs> if I don't sit here and I put train, I don't put training videos up for people and for spectators and for my fans and shit like that, and I'm not getting fights either, well, fucking, what are they going to see? They I want to be seen in action. They Would you be allowed to go to America? Yeah, so we, we I, I am. You I are because it's so long ago. We're just yeah, we're just in we're in the process of of chatting about all of that at the moment with some um because it's a, a ten, 10 years, I think it's like the yeah. you get the old G to go. Yeah, yeah, but I'm like I'll be under a sort of a sporting kind of thing, mm. you know. So, but yeah, I, that's that that is that is the ultimate goal, but. You know, for me, man, like even my, South America or something would be yeah, cool. There's heaps of like you those got, motherfuckers can scrap yeah, you over the, there. You got the UK, you got the UK as well. We got all these things like again, you need all those sort of approvals to get in there and stuff like that. So, but that's our plan. But for now, like we're just going to smash it here in South Australia, like build it up crazy. Like if we can get to where we're having, you know, two thousand pe- two two thousand spectators coming along to a fight, and eventually hold a world title here. Are you going to do the next one at Don Polsky as well? No. No, I'm happy no. about yeah. that because I hate that venue. Yeah, I hate that venue. Yeah. I yeah. don't know why because it's actually set up pretty well for, for fights. Yeah, but I've just never liked it. I just don't like yeah, it. Yeah, no, nah, we want we 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 went there. We weren't originally going there. Like I don't know if you know because yeah. we were originally going to another venue. Oh, we. Yeah, but they had a few issues with their licensing. They didn't have the right. What licensing. about Etta Park? Well, we could look at that. We're looking at a couple. We're in we're in chats with a few venues at the moment. The Diamondback fights this weekend are in. The McGarry Room in yeah. Adelaide Oval. Yeah, are they? Is Apparently, it, it's good. Is it? Yeah. Apparently, it's excellent for fights because yeah. they just it's it's perfectly set up for fights. I don't know how many they let, like can get in there though. Yeah, there's heap. There, there are a fair few venues. Like I said, we, we, we're chatting with a few that are really suitable and like because we want to be able to have some people come sit down on the tables and. The best fight show I've ever been to was Miles Simpson's last fight. Which one was that? Uh, Jesse Medina. I think it was his last fight against Jesse Medina. He fought in the Titanium Arena where they do the basketball. Oh, yeah. In yeah. fucking Woodville. Is that good? Oh, bro. It's perfect for fights because yeah, yeah. you got the tables around. I had a table, Pengilly had a table next to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the cage was there. And then because it's a basketball stadium, it's like raised like yeah, that. Yeah. So everyone can see into the cage. Yeah. It was yeah. fucking perfect. Yeah. We want that kind of, we want to be able to do that. Like where you have the table set up around the ring, then you have like that grand, like it's a park is great. Like it's fucking sick for it. Like we had, we have looked at little things. Like they helps us on combat sports though <laughs> after all that but that's shit. Right. Yeah. But it's been a fair while now. I mean, everyone's got to sort of fucking get over things. Like Knees of Fury went back there. Yeah. I, I think everyone kind of needs to move on from things now. Like with this whole, like uh, this, this whole living, you know, from like, 15 years ago when everything was, yeah, a little bit wild. It's fucking wild in Sydney at the moment. Yeah, it's wild in Sydney. But Adelaide's, like, really yeah. calm. No, nah, Adelaide doesn't really – I mean, everyone – yeah, I mean, it's it's really kind of, you know, if you don't sort of – you've got to look at it where you're like, well, it's affecting – it is affecting the flow of things by that being so strict yeah. and everything. It's like they want they want to have the cops there. They want to have all of that sort of stuff there. That's fine. They can do that, but that's their job. So they can do whatever they want to do, um, keeping everyone safe. Um, 
But, you know. Fucking standing out the door intimidating. Yeah, that, yeah that's what they're fucking doing. <laughs> slowing the flow of fucking people coming through. But, I mean, uh, other than that, I mean, to shut it down further and go, oh, well, you know, it's like, well, then we're not going to have any fucking shows here. Yeah. We're not going to have anything because everyone's going on about fucking something happened 20 years ago. And they're like, oh, there was this one time and a bloke threw a glass and that's it. We're fucking shutting everything down. It's like, come on, man. Like, you've got that many fighters. You've got fucking fighters coming from everywhere. We've, we've had guys coming that want to go from MMA, come back to come to boxing. All of these different things, man. It's like going to fucking go crazy. And like, we want to bring people over from like overseas, big names, start building it up, get fucking certain other people involved. All of these things, but everyone's too co- overly concerned about this whole fucking policing of everything. When it's like it's fucking ruining it for a lot of people, and it's ruining it for a lot of, like a lot of young guys because they don't even they weren't even fucking born yeah. when all this fucking shit was happening, you know. And so they're all just like, what, what? What's the fucking go? You know. So yeah, Adelaide definitely deserves like good events. Yeah, it's, because everyone here fucking like you said in oh, one of your posts, not everyone watches footy. Nah, man. No, I no. like footy. Yeah, I but I like any sport. That's what but, I mean. It's, but it's, I'm a f- fight fan at heart. Exactly. And man. there's not much good fighting going on. No, nah, man, because it's because there's not enough behind it. But there's, there's heaps of talent. Yeah, oh, there's tons. There's tons. Fuck ton. Man, if you get if you get these guys, these young guys that are coming off the streets that can fucking fight, just naturally can fight, and you train them up a little bit, and then you just throw them in there. Don't train them for fucking two years. Don't train them for three years because they'll just fizzle out. And then they'll fucking go out. And get them excited. Get them fucking in there fighting. It's not good. Nothing's going to happen. Like, you're not going to fucking combust. They're not going to die. Yeah, you're not going to combust in the thin air if you have a fucking fight. It's like, and that's why I say to everyone, like, mate, train for a few months. Get yourself fit. Get your diet right. Get yourself in the right mind frame. Get in there and fucking throw See it down. See if you like it. Yeah. And then when you throw it down, and the thing is, they, they need to be going pro. They need to be going pro because they get paid. They get paid for their time, you know, and so when they're getting paid for their time, they got money to put petrol in their car. They got money to fucking do this sort of shit, you know, and that's what I recognise. Like when I was an amateur, I wasn't getting paid. I was, you know, I was tri- driving, training all the time, paying for all my shit. Like, but meanwhile, um, you know, expected to dedicate all this time mm. to this sport that pays you fucking nothing. So how the fuck are you gonna live? So all that ends up happening. They either go like people, like fighters will go back to their day job as a plumber or a fucking electrician or fucking whatever. And then they'll be knackered by the end of the fucking day. Exactly, yeah. Or they're going to go out and get in trouble. And so if you get them out, if you get them fighting, you get them in these shows, like we're trying to do here, that can, um, you know, that can keep them grounded, that can keep them going, stuff like that, and they still get their massive high. Because, like, fighting, man, doesn't matter where you're fighting, it's the biggest high you'll ever fucking have, Mm. you know. So... But yeah, it's it is. Um, I think that is a major part of it, and I think it's like you know because everyone's so fucking unsure. And but it's like you got to kind of stop. God, when you think about it, if it was anything else, and you were going on about it, like what happened ten years ago or fifteen years ago, you'd be looked at like a bit of a fucking weirdo. Like yeah. you're like, oh yeah, but this happened fifteen years ago. So. Yeah, all those laws are just the government needs to understand that. Like those, and those, those. I'm probably speaking out of turn, but I don't care. Those, like, clubs and all that, they're not what they used to be. No. They don't have, like, the position of, like, they're not... I don't know about other states, but in South Australia, it's really evident. Yeah, I th- look, I think it's... But I think I think the biggest part of what they re- have to realise is that it's not about everyone else either. Yeah. Like, it's not about all of those people. It's not about... It's about the kids to- that want to fight. It's just about fighters. Yeah. Like, it's about their fighting. It's like, you want to have... Like, they want security. They get security. They want police. They get their police. And as a young fighter, you should be fighting three to four times a year. No, but that's what I mean. Yeah. But it's like when there's all these restrictions that, like, it's like me getting back in the ring, man. Oh, mate. That like, would have been a head fuck. But no one even fucking knew what was going on. They're like, oh, we don't know. Whether, what, do we do we say no? Do we say yes? Do we do this? Like, we don't even, like, but they're, they're, they're drawn to saying no first over saying yes. You know? When you so, were a member or when you were when you were in that kind of lifestyle and you were fighting, did you have to go to other states and shit to fight? No, I wasn't fighting during that time. Oh, no, no, not no, at all. That was my party area. Where yeah, you? What so was your? What was, was your? Like, what was your spot of choice? I was off season then. So what do you, what do you mean spot of choice? Where was your um, destination of choice? Anywhere your club? in the Adelaide CBD. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anywhere in there for fucking. Were you a HQ boy? No, nah, I reckon no, nah, not HQ so much. Just more of the sort of, you know, more of sort of the bit more out there kind of areas. Around there, so there was a fair few, but don't really want to go into them. But yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. But anywhere in the city, you know, anywhere so in the city, it was always alive in the city. So 
Yeah, Adelaide CBD's changed so much. Oh, it has. It's like a fucking... It's horrible. It's so sterile now. It's gone too sterile. Yeah. Like, like fucking... Street, where the, where's Harney Street gone now? I went there <laughs> on a Sunday morning one time. Yeah. Recently. Yeah. And it was just... No one... Like, there was no stragglers. There Mate, was no fucking crackheads walking they, around. You're not even allowed to fucking drive a car down there now. They've got it all fucking... It's crazy. Yeah. And, and just kids these days, though, they're heaps different. They don't... I don't feel like they get as loose. Nah. They're like self... Um, yeah, they go to the gym and shit. Yeah, but they... they, they I guess because they've got these lockouts and all this sort of shit. And, and phones now. they yeah. got phones and you everyone can record all the dumb fucking oh, shit people. you're doing. Yeah, yeah, but all that dumb shit was happening years ago. And it's like, these are like, you get all these oldies that sit there and go, oh, this shit. It's like, no, nah, it was just back in those days they didn't have fucking camera phones, so you didn't get to see it all. There was, there was heaps of bad shit happening back then. Do you have a bender left in you, do you reckon? <sighs> After I win the world title, fucking absolutely. You have a bender? Yeah. How many yeah. days? I'm on a mission. Ooh, I'd say Could you that. do now? Yeah, no, I could, I could fucking, I could last all right. I mean, I, I I, think maybe, I'd say three days. You could do three. I could. Back if to I, back. If I needed to. No sleep or back to back? If I needed to. Mate, if i got a fucking world title belt around the fucking place, <laughs> <laughs> I'd, <be> fucking, <laughs> I'd do fucking three weeks. Yeah, but, right. Um, but yeah, no, I don't know. Um, it's I, and I think that that that's that massive drive that you get from from the big achievements in fighting. What the was that a massive boot up your ass as soon as you got that title? Man, like it was just so much fucking pressure lifted. Like, it would have been overwhelming. No, nah, it was it was. Oh, I was like, you know what? It actually wasn't overwhelming. It was more so the fact that it was more overwhelming fucking building into it because we were dealing with so many fucking issues. And you were promoting the. F- Fuck out of that yeah. fight. Oh, massively, man. And it was just so fucking cool. But you know what, man? Like, the crowd, like, the, the spectators that were there were fucking awesome. Like, the, even, like, the securities, fucking everyone come up. They're like, man, that's the best crowd. You guys have the best crowd. The fucking energy was so high. And the hype was fucking crazy. And it was just like, everyone was fucking... It was like, you got 650 people in a room pissing on for fucking hours. And they're all just having a ball. There was, like, not one fucking issue. Um, and that was the biggest thing about it. So it was just like everyone has been dying for this. That's awesome moment. as well that there was no like scuffles or fucking anything. No, nah, nothing, man. Nothing. And then even like... Fire shows are always pretty good. Nah, yeah, but it's, it's gotten better. And I think it's like because everyone's so fucking, you know, everyone's frothing it. Like everyone's... Everyone's fr- not there. Because I remember back in the day, you used to go to those shows because it was it's different reasons. Like, certain, yeah, certain yeah. people make it about themselves. Yeah. And, and it's not about that. And now now it's more like people are actually fans of the sport, of yeah. any, like any combat sport now. There's like legitimate diehard fans. Mm. But before then, it was more of a scene thing. Like you'd yeah. go to be seen and then you'd make it, like you said, make it about yourself. Yeah, it, it is, man. But like now, it's fucking totally changed and the freshness. And that's what we're trying to do with our show. Like, we don't we don't want to be doing old school shit. We want to do modern shit. We want we want everyone to be um you know looking at it like this is fresh. You know, we don't The want live to... stream was good too. Yeah, oh it was fucking sick. Mm. It was fucking sick. I was watching it. Probably there's probably one little thing that might need a little bit a little bit better lighting. We're gonna go with a little bit le- uh, better lighting. All learning. Time. But yeah, it's all just little things like that. It's but, all learning. Yeah, but nothing fucking major. Um and I mean, you know, you, you didn't really have too much time in my fight to really kind of fucking You had fucking Peter and uh was it uh Chris Chris Peter and Chris on yeah, the Yeah, Peter and Chris handling like, handling the commentary um for their first time. They fucking did awesome man. And they just look so professional. They do. Um yeah they, they look, look like lovers. <laughs> they don't <laughs> They just look so professional, man. And I said to him, like, man, I was like, you did a great job. Like, we want to get them back next. Those time. two are probably the best two people. Like, you couldn't have picked two better fucking no, people. No, no, yeah, because they're geeks. They're boxing geeks. Yeah, but everyone was just so. It, just everyone we had involved with the show. It was just awesome because it was everyone was just so raw. Like, mm. and it was just like it, that was the best part about it. Yeah, like, you do want it to still be a bit raw. You don't want it to get too fucking uppity, uppity. Nah, man. And and the thing is, you don't want people that have been like involved in multiple different things because otherwise they're just stuck to those things. We are starting something that's different than everybody else, you know, and it's like, for one, having a full professional boxing card here in South Australia, which we'll get like, we're going to get better and better and better and the fighters are going to get better um, because they're going to, they're going to have more action. Who did your photos? The photos? Um, photos and videos and shit. We had a couple of, um, that was actually just a, a young lad that was learning. Um, Is that Luke? To be honest, I don't know his name. I, I reckon it was low. I didn't handle that, so I didn't handle that part of it. But um, but no, there was some. There was a couple of good guys. There was there was one guy I can't remember where he was from, but 
he um man he did really 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 well so um mm. he um i'm probably gonna come a little bit closer no you're right um start getting all fucking comfortable too many scotches you are yeah, yeah. i've never i was just saying before this i've never seen anyone that that first class scotch i fucking yeah, well, looked actually, over and it was over it's actually high in electrolytes the ice is melted. Not really, now. but anyway. Um, but yeah, no, I know it's fucking great. Um, but yeah, look, it's um, with the show, man. Like we we're trying to yeah, we're trying to touch on you know different things that haven't been done before as well. Mm. Um, but it was just cool, man. Like the show flowed, like it really, really worked. So um, and it'll only attract better fighters, and better fighters, and be- and it'll make better fighters because oh, they're actually fucking fighting. The yeah. only way to get better at it is probably yeah. to get in there. Oh, definitely. You can only hit so many fucking pads. Yeah. Oh well, that's it. And the thing is, as well, like oh, what the, the, our, our biggest motivation, man, is that we we want to take it away from these fighters, these good guys that are good talents. Like going, they what they do is they get fights and then they get used up by interstate and they get brought over against one of their key guys our guy hasn't been active to be fucking cans that's exactly right yeah, yeah. and then so you know but we want to build it up to where we're like nah man that's not happening we will keep him here we'll keep him here we'll keep him safe and uh, when they're ready when they're ready they will fight the real fights you know and 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 it's not that they can't it's, that's the game you have to fucking play though unfortunately it has to happen man. that's like, the game but you need to be pro- like, we're, we're like a big country town here in south australia when it comes to boxing man like we don't really have we don't really have that much stuff, you know what I mean? And so, like, we, we don't have, like, you know, multiple gyms. Well, we do, but, like, not compared to, like, Queensland, New South Wales. We don't have that much. What action. is the state for boxing in Australia? Would it be New South Wales or Queensland? Them two, yeah. The Blues and the Maroons. Can't but I sort of want to, like, start my own one here. I want to start, like, the South Aussie Reds. <laughs> South yeah, Aussie yeah, Reds. I want to start the fucking South Aussie Reds and just start really sticking it up, these fucking cunts. Like, it's... um. I do mean, you have, like, a little protege or anything? What's a protege? What do you mean? Pro- like, do you have anyone you train that you see? Oh, yeah, so, like, that side of it. Nah, I don't really... I, look, I train a few people, but, you know, they're just kind of cruising along. But, no, nah, I don't... What about the gym? You need a gym. Yeah, I'm going to start a gym. Is that your thing? I will. What area? I don't know yet. It'll be somewhere central. So I was going to say... It won't be too south. It won't be too west. It won't be too north, you know. like in it, the fucking middle. Goodwood yeah, Road. It'll be somewhere like... It'll, oh, fuck, I don't know about that, but... It may be... Goodwood Road would be actually all right, but it's fucking busy peak hours. You'd want to go, like, inland into... Like the, in the Goodwood has, like, a little industrial area, doesn't it? Yeah, but I want to... I know what I want to do, and I'm keeping it a bit tight-lipped, but I know what I want to do, and I want to know... Like, but for me now, man, it's like I don't have the time for it. I don't have it's the It's a time. fucking big... Yeah. And that also takes away from your fighting. It, it, well, it, that's exactly what it yeah. does. And I don't want to um, go and take something on like that if I can't give it 100%. That's what I am like, is that I like to... If I'm doing something, I've got to be 100% on it. And um, I, I know that I can't do it right now. Cause Maybe I'm, an end game once you Yeah, you're man. Done. Like, I'm going to be travelling. I'm going to be going overseas. I've got my family. I've got my kids. I've got my wife. You know, and all these things. I've got to, I've got to make time for that as well. So it's like... To, to to a gym and to be able to put my time into young fighters, I can't just do that just yet. And we've got these promotions here, so um, you know there, there, there's a lot going on um, for me at the moment. And but the end game is yeah, like once I retire, once I'm done, and I've got my world title, then then we'll kick off. How much of like boxing does this take up your life? Like, do you have fucking a hobby or do you like other shit? <laughs> 12. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking uh, pottery. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. I, um, uh, yeah, no, nah, look, it's, it's really just family time, family time. And, um, you know, I, I'm one to, I like to be at home a lot with my kids um, but you missed out on fucking a lot yeah, of time. Yeah, I just like to be at home. Oh, yeah, but I just like, like my son especially. I like to be there with him. He's um, the oldest. He, yeah, so he's going on three years old, but I've pretty much been there a lot of his life. Like, you know, And he's going to get a set of gloves. Oh, man, he's already got some. Yeah, yeah, yeah straight no, away. My wife got him for him. Like, got him these little fucking cool, like, they're sick. That's cute as fuck. Like, oh, man, he's so funny, man. And I'm like... He just loves punching everything, and he's like, he he came to my last fight, so this is actually saying it was quite funny. Like we 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 let him go for a fair while, you know, because I didn't want to, I didn't want to take him to a fight too early because it can be pretty full on. It'll be a bit traumatic. For That's him, what probably. I mean. So I didn't want to like put a bad taste in his mouth, and so I've built him up slowly, built him up slowly, and the missus was building him up. You know, she's like, oh, you know, dad boxing, dad boxing, you know, and then going get him, dad, get him, dad, you know, and then it was funny because. So he come to the fight, the last fight, and um, he, he watched all of that. He watched that bloke get fucking dropped. Fuck, looking into the crowd and seeing your son or whatever would be 
Oh, it was just cool, man. Indescribable. But, yeah, it was just so cool. And then, like, after showing him the belt and just the looks in his eyes, like, being Even able, as they get older, so then they fully understand. That's what I mean. Like, yeah. just looking over, because I remember there's this, um, it's a real fucking, it, it, this, this memory, like, burns into my head a bit. When Michael Chandler, this bloke from the UFC, he has. Yeah, Michael Chandler, yeah, I've seen some of his stuff, yeah. Whenever he wins a fight, the first thing he fucking does is scout out his kids. Yeah. Like yeah. the first thing. Well, that's what it's all about. Because he says there's no better feeling than your kid fucking there seeing you there's knock not, out a grown man. <laughs> yeah, there's not. And it's like it was funny because I was uh, just to go back to it, like with my boy and that. I was putting him to bed the other night. It was funny because I said to him, oh, um, I said, all right, come on, you're jumping in bed. And he goes, he goes, oh, dad, dad, you know, dad punched sore belly. Gives, 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 <laughs> gives him sore belly, you know? And I was like, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. You know, a so, few dang, sore no, belly. Yeah, so, yeah, that's right. So he knows, um, you know, but he's now, he's in that, like, now he, he froths it, you know, and I, I tell him, I'm like, you know, um, you're going to have a world title belt, you know? And, I, and look, it, again, if you gave me the option, if you said to me, hey, you can decide whether you get the world title or whether your son gets it when he when we, when he builds up to it, I would 100% tell you, like, oh, I'd rather my son have it, you know? I would, yeah. I'd give it to him. Like, I'd let him take that and because, you know, he will be better than me um, and he'll have the training of, like... All the pluses but none uh, of the button minuses. No, that's right. He'll have me there all the way. And there's so many things that I've learned along my journey with everything from all of it, like from boxing. So you'd love him to be a boxer? Would love him. Because there's a lot of people that fight that say they'd never want their kids to fight. Yeah. But so it's a 50-50 it's a yeah. on like if you'd want your kid to fight or if you wouldn't. Yeah. No, nah, I definitely want him to fight, but I'm there with him whatever he wants to do. Mm. And I say like, like you know, it's and that's all you have to do. You don't have to be some special fucking knowledgeable person. You've just got to be there with your son and say to him like, man, I, I, I believe in you. And it doesn't matter what happens tonight. It doesn't matter what happens in the ring. Whatever happens, you're still my son. We're going to be all right. You know, we'll go fishing tomorrow. We'll go do something. It doesn't yeah. fucking matter. If you know that, if you know that you've got someone in your corner, I'm not saying I had that. I definitely didn't have that. But um, I was a lot. I was on my own a lot, you know, so with, with a lot of my fighting. So Did you come from a broken home? It's, it's like a very fucking, very full on kind of um, upbringing, like a lot of crazy kind of shit. Like there's, you know, um, like a lot of wild sort of stuff, um, you know. So that was where, uh, like, with my dad and you know stuff like that. So everything was pretty full on. Um, so I learned um, to, you know, sort of with boxing, it gave me that out. But at the same time, I didn't have someone there saying to me, "Hey, this is how you do it. Yeah, Stay calm." Yeah, you had to learn, learn yeah, it on the fly. So, like, yeah. So for me now, I know all this shit. I know all this shit now. So it's like, and that's why I try to explain to young guys that want to fight, that want to have that, and they they got this burning thing inside of them, but they don't have like all these other fucking idiots that sit there and think they're all you know that they're experts, and they go, oh, you've got to do this and you've got to do that. No, you fucking don't, Mm. because that kid's going to end up going out in the street and fucking throwing down and punching on with some fucking random. When really you're better off just going, hey man, let's get you in the ring. And then saying to them, like, I'm supporting you through this whole thing. And they'll be a champion, you know. And, and so they will be because that's all that's all you need. You just need belief. Perfect example, Mike Tyson. That's, <laughs> that's a exactly, fucking perfect example. But exactly right. He was a complete machine. Most, you know, the most terrifying fucking athlete yeah, of all time. But he had, he had Customato, who was there with him, believing in him. And that's all it was, man. It wasn't because Customato was some special person. It's because no one else believed in him in his life. And then he met the perfect person who fucking believed in him. And then he's like, just follow, like a soldier. No, that's exactly right. Yeah. And it's like, so when you've got that, like, when you've got that belief, whoever it is, and like, like all these trainers, they think they've got to tell the fighters to do this and to do that. Man, if you're a fighter, if you're a machine, if you're a killing machine already, the last thing you need is someone yelling at you to fucking do something because you already got it. You just need someone to sit there and say, it's all right, let's just fucking do what we need to Calm do. Calm down. Yeah, I'm here with you. <laughs> Fuck everybody else. There's, there's thousands of people, you know, and but like some people might like you, some people might hate you. Are you going to think about that? No. You're only going to think about the people that you're there with. And if they're there with you and saying to you, like, it doesn't matter what fucking happens tonight, it doesn't matter which way it goes, either way we're going out and we're going to have dinner together and we're going to fucking have a laugh and you're still going to be fucking, you know, mm. either my, you know, like either my son or my friend or whatever it is, you know what I mean? Um, and that's so important. 
you know, like I think that's it's so important, and I think that so many trainers and so many people miss that, you know. So, and whether it's whether it's whether it's with anything, whether it's MMA, boxing, yeah, fucking any, any combat or any any because those sports are like they're the loneliest sports in the world. They are. They, yeah, you don't have a fucking team. You can't have a bad day. That's the thing with boxing, man. Like, uh, well, with fight sports, is that you don't you can't have a bad day. You can't say, hey, man, I'm going to go fucking sit in the back pocket or I'm going to go sit back at full back and just chill for today. Cause, oh, I'm going to sub off for five. Yeah, man. No, it doesn't happen. You know, and, and you don't get that kind of that, that opportunity to be able to sort of. And yeah. you, you don't get the second chance. You don't play each other four times a season. Nah, man. Because you don't play fighting. Nah. And nah. people don't understand that. Nah, you don't it. play fighting. No. Nah, and um, like you could be having your worst performance and your opponent have their best ever performance and you still have to beat them. 100%. Like it's, it's just a different it's a different thing. It's not it's not a sport. No, it's not. And it's it's really and that's why I think it's like that's kept me It's a sport to us cuz we watch it. Yeah. Like well, it's a sport to me well, cuz I watch it. But yeah. to you it's probably a lot more than a sport. Yeah, to me it's gladiation. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> it's gladiation. To, to me it's it's uh, to to be able to push myself to the limits. Like you get guys that are addicted to like surfing and like they go out and fucking you know they surf ginormous waves and it's like insane and you look at it and think fucking hell like why would you do that or like they jump off of fucking ginormous cliffs all this sort of shit like for me it's like yeah you know like how much can i get in there and fucking i'm do this? better than you yeah can i yeah. do this damage can i can i prove this point um and it's setting that kind of standard as well as a man that like you know don't be worried about you know getting in there and just fucking throwing down one on one. Do you know what I mean? Um, and so I think it's like, and and again at this point in my life now, I'm trying to get like I've always been very quiet with 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 my um with my bot like with with how like you know with with how I sort of do boxing or like with how I handle things because I've always kept it to myself. But with now like because I'm getting on to you know i'm not on like i'm fucking old but i mean it's like i know that i've got probably about another five years that i want to stick at this i want all the young fellas and stuff like that to be able to see this a little be, inspiration 100 percent. yeah yeah i want them to see yeah. that and then go you know what like this can like actually knows what he's talking about yeah he's been everywhere and i have like i've been i've, I've been all around the world i've been around and fought all over the world i've been to jail i've sat there i've done that I've done all of it and all I can say to them is like, again, like I've said to you before, I don't regret any of it. It's an experience that I went through that I can now explain. I wouldn't recommend it. I don't sit here and say like, no, you should go to jail. It's a great idea. Yeah. You know, it's really good because it's not. It's yeah. actually, you're, you're very stagnant. Yeah. You're not actually going anywhere. You just sit there and do nothing. Like you train, you know, you take care of yourself. But not a lot of people do though. A lot of people do just fucking Oops. medicate themselves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> medicate themselves and knock themselves out and yeah. that's it. Sleep the time away, you know. So for me, it's really... Um, uh, you know, it's looking at it like, okay, I was in there for that period of time. Yeah. I used that time and then that's it. You know what I mean? It's like now I'm out here and I use what I learned in there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's fucking some inspirational shit. Mm. What well, sort of inspirational? That's <laughs> it. It's not really a good segue for it, but there's this question I ask everyone or I ask a lot of people when they come on and you'd be a really good person to ask because I reckon you'd be honest about it. Yeah, tell me. How many... Year sixes, do you reckon you could beat the fucking shit out of? How many year sixes? Yeah, like 12, 12 11 year old kids. Oh, I reckon I'd take a fair few of them. I reckon. They're coming at you in waves yeah. of like four or five at a time. Yeah. And you get like. What area are they from though? Like, we talking? No, it's mixed. Every like five rounds, you get like a Maori kid that weighs like 70 yeah, kilos. Like if you've got like Eastern Suburbians and stuff like that, like Northerners. Just like, a gang of kids. So like a. Just normal kids. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I reckon I could maybe take maybe 10 10 maybe 10, only 10 to f no they are pretty dangerous kids man. no no no, no, no. what age we're talking about six 11 years, six years. oh 11 oh yeah no it's a bit older. i'd probably be more intimidated by toddlers the only thing that would fuck you would be your cardio so it depends all about your cardio i'm yeah. telling you now i've thought about this question a lot yeah oh well it's an interesting question i'm telling you i thought it was going to be i thought it was going to be a bit nah yeah no nah, no nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, you'd be able to knock out a kid with a jab. Yeah, I reckon so. Well, hopefully not. You know, I haven't really tried it. Um, I haven't tried it. I'm trying, I'm trying to, to put something together now to finally settle the question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't do it with me, please. No, no. I don't need any more jail. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I reckon uh, you could do... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Five rounds. Five kids per round. Mm. I reckon you'd easily get through about 15, 20 yeah. hordes. Oh. It just depends on your cardio. I don't know. This. If we're talking like, do you find, do, do, was your cardio better or what? Or you wouldn't really fucking know because you didn't. But through training, was your cardio better or worse because you actually had to cut weight? Or you're saying for the... For, for the, this fight yeah. now? No, I would say my cardio is better. Yeah, At cruiser? I, yeah, cruiser weight, yeah. Just from training? Because obviously yeah. the fight doesn't... You can't really tell much from the fight. Yeah, no, that's right. <laughs> but... 60 seconds of work. But uh, um, no, from training, did you yeah. feel better? Yeah, definitely. You look like you naturally kind of dropped the weight rather than just fucking stayed a heavyweight and cut down. Yeah, no. You look like you more so changed to like a cruiser weight, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, I did. I like For me, because I, I can naturally sort of... Um, you know, I can naturally get to, to cruise away without going too, too crazy, but I can stack on the weight as well. You know what Quick. I mean? Like, yeah, like I can stack on, like I can bulk up. Um, so it's really, like for me, it doesn't make too much of a difference, but as long as I stay at like that kind of like, say it's a heavy weight, as long as I'm like 105 kilos, that's not too heavy for me. Mm. So I'm still actually very fit at 105 kilos. Um, but Because you throw fucking volume. Yeah. And I throw hard, man. Like, I throw, like... I was going to say, there's no, like, pity padding to find range. You're, like, throwing to finish the fight from start to fucking finish. I I, I do throw, like... uh, I do throw to break something every punch. you got a nice highlight reel as well. Yeah. It's on... I think you... Do do you have, like, a YouTube page? I don't have a YouTube page, nah. nah, Really? Someone else had made it. I was... Yeah, it's a Boston name page. Yeah. Yeah, nah, I don't have one. Um, you have no, fans yeah <laughs> yeah no i don't i don't have oh, that, regardless that well, page has like a cool highlight reel of all yeah. of your finishes yeah so no it's there are some good stuff on there but i mean like you know i always hit hard with my left hand i always hit hard with my right hand so it's everything like because again it's like i'm not in there to like go distances and stuff like that is I'm, your nickname still the boss still the boss still the boss yeah, i sort of kind of just kept it kind of just kept it moss the boss i yeah, like it yeah moss the boss you know like i sort of like I stopped it. I stopped it for a while, and then I sort of it, it's it's kind of great. Like you know, so many people just say it. Like, saying, oh, the do boss. you have to like ham it up a, sh- a bit? Because you don't seem like a natural like shit talker. Oh, like shit, yeah, shit talking. Nah, I I don't like shit talking. But I, to for promo, like your last promo work was real good. Like yeah. you hammed it up a little bit. Yeah, I do. I do. No, but shit talking too. As long as it's truthful though. Like if I'm saying I'm gonna, if I'm saying I'm going to fucking smash someone, I'm serious. Like I'm not, or if I say I'm going to, you know, or if I'm if I'm back and forth. And the thing is as well, like all these fighters, majority of them are like majority of these boxers and stuff that try to come at me. They're dumb dumbs, you know. They can't fucking talk for shit. So that's why they really don't kind of approach me anymore because I'm a lot fucking more switched on than them. And then so, <laughs> and then, so then when I do come back at them. With a with a more of a cluey kind of thing, and they're like, oh, "Have you have you have you ever looked at your stats and see how many punches you've absorbed?" No, I don't even look at any of that. No. That would be I, fucking nice to know because it I, wouldn't be many. No, I don't think I've absorbed many punches. I don't, <laughs> no, I don't think I've been punched that much. I don't think um because so many people say it as well. They're like, "Oh, you don't really look like a a kind of a boxer." And I'm like, "Do you have oh, colleagues?" That's great, thank you. Hey, nah, nah, no, nah, nah, I don't have any of that. No, nah. no, nah, I, I I think um. I don't really get hit that much at all. Probably damaged yourself more fucking being a gangster than yeah. you have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think from drinking fucking scotches, I think it'll do to me more, that's for sure. Was it hard to leave that life behind? No. 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 It's not like, at that point in your life? No, it's like you grow up, man. It's like when I was going for parole and they said to me at the parole board, you know, I got driven from fucking Port Augusta in the back of And this is fuck thing, right? I got driven in Port Augusta backwards in a van so they were driving me in the van and i'm looking out the back window and they're driving that way right yeah and, and i'm looking at it for four hours for four hours right then you go into this parole board <laughs> then you go into this parole board and they want to talk to you and then you're sitting there going all right they've got you've got no shoes on so you just get walked into this room and then they're talking to you and then they go to you, and it's been fucking years. It's like 2013 was the thing, and it's like 2018. And then they're asking me questions and all this sort of shit. And all I said straight to them is, listen, I was fucking younger then. I've grown up, and that's just the way it is. And they're like, oh, so you don't have any... Well, my, well maybe if you ask me, maybe a year after. But when you go from being 20, you know, just turned 20. You're a different human being. Yeah, just turned 23 and then I'm going on 28, 29. It's like you want to know shit from like all that years ago. It's like, no, nah, it's like you just grow up, man. It's like, it's like 
What? I look at myself when I was 18 and I want to punch myself in the no, fucking head. No, that's what head. I mean, man. Like, yeah, but you look at that shit and you go, oh, like, if I said to you, like, why did you do that when you're 18? You'd sit there and go. So I was on cocaine. Well, yeah, you're like, yeah, because like, I was fucking carrying on, man. Like, it's like, yeah. would I do it right now? Like, no, nah, I'm not going to do it right now. It's like, you know, so it's kind of like a pretty, pretty straightforward kind of question. Do you know what I mean? And so, uh, sorry, like a, a pretty straightforward answer, you know. So when I, when I said that to him, um, they said like, oh, they were like, oh, it's, it doesn't come across as very fucking remorseful. But it's like, well, what do you want me to fucking say? Do you want, want me to cry? Yeah, yeah, that's right. You want me to sit here and cry and piss and moan? Like, because honestly, if you sit, I, I'm not going to sit here and cry about like, oh, it's fucking terrible. Because it wasn't. Well, the thing with that though, you served your time. Well, that's And it. that's the required time to serve. Yeah. So what's the like... Do they it's, obviously want to break you a little bit more. Like they've obviously seen that you weren't as broken as they wish you'd were. No, well, it's a, it's the fate. It, it, well, that's right. Yeah, and I mean, like for me, it was just a massive training camp. It was just a massive training camp, and I I wanted to feel every piece, like every bit of it. Like so, and it's good that you had that outcome in jail because it's a it's a f- real fifty fifty when you're doing big stints. Fifty you're, fifty, it's more than fifty fifty. It'd like, be worse, man. Even like, like 80, 20. Like 90, 95 percent re offenders. No, it, it, no, but just turn out to be fuckheads. Or like because a lot of <laughs> like, it, it depends what top what I guess what I've never I only had one really bad incident where I oh fuck I was in a watch house for a few hours but my court case went on for a couple of years. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> so I oh, fuck fucking fire up. Here we go. Oh no, it wasn't that exciting. <laughs> I was at I used to frequent Marble Bar years ago. Yeah. Frequent it, yeah. Yeah, like every Thursday I used to go to Marble Bar and there's a lot of scumbags that used to hang around there. Mm. And we used to all go and I went after work one night and I was there like 10 minutes before everyone else got there. So I ordered us like 10 vodka sodas. Yeah. And I was just chilling. Sniffer Dog comes up to me, sniffs me. I didn't have anything on me. Walked away. Yeah. Then two minutes later, Sniffer Dog comes back and tries to jump on me to play with me. Yeah. So I was like, oh, fuck, just get off, buddy. Like, yeah. I pushed him off. As soon as I oh, fucking touched the dog, fucking boom, oh, you boom, sniffy dog. smashed my nose on the bar. I turned around, didn't know what was happening, <laughs> smacked a cunt. And then I was like, oh, no, it's a police officer. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I got done with the assault of the dog and the officer. Yeah. They put me in the car. They, and I'm sober, so they're thinking I'm off my head. Yeah. And I'm like... Oh, you're sober. I was dead sober. Yeah, wow. yeah. The, I, the first drinks I bought yeah, and yeah, none yeah. of my mates were there. Yeah. Luckily, because if they waited, they would have pinged a lot yeah. more people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so all my mates can uh, thank me for that gold, one. That's gold, But man. they fucking tried to do... They tried to change the law with my case in South Australia because at the time, mm. dogs were classed as a tool, not an uh, officer. They tried to take my fucking case to like the high court oh, yeah, to change the law. You would have been fucked. You would have been coming in there with me, mate. They were trying to take a fucking, and I was like, mate, I didn't fucking hit the dog. <laughs> and it took two years, but yeah. I got like not guilty yeah. and got it all wiped off my record. Yeah. What a head fuck. Imagine going to jail for that. Like, what are you in for assaulting a dog? Fucking like? punch the dog yeah, in the head. I didn't even what punch the fuck's it. What's going on here? I don't know how fucking yeah. animal abusers get fucking yeah, treated yeah, yeah. in jail. <laughs> but I didn't do yeah. anything. I just pushed it off. I like literally just went, oh. Just get yeah. off, mate. And yeah. because I was in fucking nice clothes, and it was a, ge- I'm a small cunt, so yeah, 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 it was yeah. a German Shepherd. Yeah. So it jumped up here, and I was like, oh. Yeah. And as soon as I put my hand on the dog, this cunt tried to break my fucking nose. Yeah, wow. Well, yeah. Oh, but they're all fucking real tough when they're in packs. Yeah, yeah. That's that's always the case, man. Yeah. You know, like but do you know? And do you know what? Uh, there's a there's heaps of really good encounters I've had with police. Mm-hmm. Probably not you. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, I think. But it, I've had I've had like I've had decent interactions with a, like an, a fair few police officers when I've been speeding and they've been sick cunts and like done me a solid and speeding. shit. <laughs> well, just like little little shit. Yeah, yeah Not yeah. like I haven't fucking yeah. stabbed anyone or fucking yeah. done anything crazy. Uh, yeah, but yeah. well, that'd be fucking imagine that. You've got a great fucking little bit, interaction on that one. Yeah. Like, oh look, man. He deserved it. He, actually, yeah. he was a pig. Oh good man. Take it easy. Enjoy. <laughs> you have a good night. All right. <laughs> Don't go do you it were again, always, you. you were always a little cunt? Um, no, I think I definitely was you had the more potential to wanting be. to have... Yeah, I think I could have been a lot... I think I think things could have gotten a lot worse and I think I could have gotten in there for a lot longer. But I think um, for me, it was, um, you know, for, for my upbringing, for how everything was, I think to be, to be in there for that and then, you know, for whatever happened, it was like, ah, like... 
it could have been worse, you know. And it was just like, again, I just grew up, man. When I was in there... It's I, probably... So you're happy that it happened because it kind of cut the head of the snake. Well, it, well, it really did, man. And like, for me, for me, it was like, you, you get in there and you train, you're on your own, you know, like you train, you don't really have overly much great conversation in there you don't really want to talk to anybody i was going to say you would have been in there with a pretty good crew to train with and stuff oh, too. i think it's just like train like there's a select a couple of people that train you know people train and 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 have that you know don't don't take any medications don't take any drugs don't take any of that sort of stuff to try and like to try and skip the time away um you know it's it's all about just you know knowing yourself getting getting used to that sort of um uh you know very quiet kind of environment you know so and i think it's like everyone goes on about it you know you get all these guys on fucking podcasts and shit like that and they go on about it like this is this mystical thing it's like no it's not it's that you're just not doing fucking anything and it's like if you don't use your time to train and to get in your own mind um well it's a waste of fucking time do you know what i mean uh, and so for me it wasn't because I use that's the thing. Because if you go in fucking for five years and you literally do nothing that whole time, you've lost, you haven't gained anything no, in five exactly, years. You're five years fucking behind. Exactly right, man. And like, so for me, it was like I already knew what I had to do, which was just like do my training, do my things. Um, you know, like the whack that I got was, um, you know, for for kind of not having much of a, a criminal record. Um, was pretty excessive, but like I'm in mean, the time of how South Australia was dealing with all their like, with all this shit, they wanted to set a precedent, and they did. Um, and I was just a, happened to be right at that time. I so, was gonna say because they they got really harsh on no, the laws did. at they one did. time. Yeah, yeah. So it was couldn't all, even fucking hang around the same nah, area and shit. That's it. So it was all just sort of carry on and that kind of part of it. But so yeah, no, nah, like I moved I moved on from all of that. Um, really wanted to focus on just getting out and just fuck kicking back and just relaxing and then and 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 starting my family. That kind of lifestyle as well. You'd always have this little anxiety in your fucking or like this always just like oh some bad. Oh, yeah. I guess you'd get used to it. Yeah, I don't really have any. I I don't think I really have any type of. I I personally believe getting in there and punching on with someone in the ring is way fucking more hectic uh, and i do believe that and i believe that throwing down with someone who can kill you which people that can punch can kill you um you're going to be the first australian boxer to kill someone <laughs> in the fire. Yeah, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just saying that it is it is more you know people that go on about all, all of the the, the the shiny bells and whistles of everything else it's like, mate, when you're in there and you're throwing down with someone, like, yeah, no worries, you've got gloves on, but it's a piece of foam that much. At like, the end of the day, MMA fighters, boxers, all of these blokes, all the, like, rewind a thousand years ago, mm. you would be the cunts in the fucking Defi pit. Definitely, man. And it's it's like seeing that from fucking... It's this, you get the same. And as a human, you get this real... If you've never been to a really big fight or yeah. a real... There's this thing you feel inside you like this fucking adrenaline rush watching it and it's the exact rush they would have got back when they were watching fucking gladiators fight with swords but it is man it's, it's the like, same thing it's primal when shit you, when you, yeah but that's what it is and it's like and and that respect grows there's that the respect that people have like me personally i never you know I, I never shake hands with fighters i try to like avoid any type of um, you know, fucking you until see after. Which I, nah, but even after, even yeah, after, I don't like it after. Really? No, I You're don't, a cunt no, through no, and yeah, through, yeah, eh? Yeah, yeah. Because I'm like, man. <laughs> no, but you know why? And the attitude, the the, the reason why I have that attitude yeah. is because you could fight that guy. You yeah, right. that guy It's have, not over yet. I have had that, and you know, I've had a guy. I had a guy that I fought in the amateurs once, and I fought. I ended up fighting fucking three times, and um, the first time I got fucking disqualified. The, and I nearly fucking like really fucked him up, and because they said that I punched him after the uh, that I punched him after the referee stopped me, because he was fucked up, and then so then and I kept going, and then the referee apparently was like he was yelling stop, but he should have jumped on me and grabbed me like a pro ref would. They'd fucking grab on you and rip you off because mm. you're in the zone, man. Like you just you, that's you, more on the ref than you. Yeah, that's right. But but because it was over interstate, it was over in Queensland. They fucking ended up saying like nah, like you know rah rah, you're fucking disqualify this and that but anyway i ended up fighting that guy three times and he ended up coming up to me one time uh for our last fight that we had and i fucking stopped him i stopped him in the second round and he came up to me and he's like and i thought he's come up to me in the car park and i was in the boot of my car putting fucking putting stuff in the boot 
and this guy's coming up I'm thinking oh like he wants to come out and have a punch on in the fucking he's got a problem like he wants to have a fight out here he comes up to me and he like we'd never shook, shook hands we'd never fucking spoken or anything like that and he come up to me and shook my hand he's like he put his hand out and he's like look he's like I just want to say I'm retiring I'm finished I'm done uh, I can't do this anymore and then um, like I said yeah no worries man like, I put my hand out shook his hand I said good on you fucking well done because he's retired he's out of my division he's out of my way I'll never fucking see you again you know, so that's that's the only time where I'm willing to actually, you know, have that. Like you hear these guys have a fucking punch on and then they go have a beer after and then they might... It's fight. just not your style. Nah, man. Nah, because I'm like, man, I don't want to fucking... I'm not going to sit here and like someone's my You're friend. You're not there to make friends. Nah, man, I'm not there to make friends. I'm not there to make people like me. And I'm, and that's one thing I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to relate to every single fucking person. Yeah. Like some people are going to hate me. Some people are going to really like me. But it's like... I, I, that's that's fucking awesome but i'm just there to just be my purely myself and um you know because I'm, I'm only in there to do damage i'm not in there to win on points and so if it comes to the point of wherever the day comes where i've got to go down swinging well that's what's going to happen you fucking know nice. like it's not going to be like oh i'm going to run away and get my points and fucking put the crowd to sleep you die on your shield yeah that's 100 percent. that's it and that's what like that's what I see, you know, like, and it's like when the, when the time comes, when it's my time to say, hey, now it's time to hang the fucking gloves up. It's, it's over. It's done. Like, don't keep sitting in there being a punch drunk fucking Rocky. That's fucking another thing. Cunts don't know when to throw in the no, fucking. They, they don't the know to. It because gets, it's all they know, though. Yeah. Like, if this is your release, if boxing is your, like, one release. It's a drug, man. It's a drug. It'd it's be. Drug. And then after boxing, you're like, oh, and then yeah. you like, oh, one more. And yeah. One more. But when you think about it, it's like doesn't matter how rich you are it doesn't matter how much money you have and this is what i used to always think when i was fighting when i first started fighting as a pro was that like all these people in the front row they're all fucking multi-millionaires they've all got a lot of fucking money right they all sit up the front of these big shows that i was fighting on because i always fought on tv and i fought on undercards of world titles so i used to sit there and fucking think about these guys and i think i, I have no fucking money right and so whatever money was happening was like, oh, i would give my money to the other fighter to make sure he turned up like I would always hand my purse over, right? Which would only be like, you know, like two, three grand, but still like for me at that point in time would have been a fair It's a lot money. of money. Yeah. So, but I used to think about these guys that have got all this fucking money and they come up and they come out of their way and shake hands. And they're like, man, like fucking, like you could just see the look in their eyes. Like they know that they could never, ever do what I just went in there and did. And I've got, you know, 8,000, 9,000 people that are in this fucking, that are in this crowd, right? And they're fucking, they're all watching me do what I do. Now, it doesn't matter how much money you've got. You know, you imagine how much money it would cost you if you had to pay for 9,000 people to just watch you and one other bloke. Yeah. Punch on. Like, you know, it's like like if you were just a standard person. It would cost you a fortune, you know, but I'm doing it for nothing, you know, so that it's not costing me anything. Even though I'm not making much, it, well, I wasn't making anything. Um, you know what I mean? So that was what my main drive was was that I can actually capture the eyes of every, you know, of thousands and thousands of people um, and they look at it and go, fuck yeah, that was sick. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So how, when was your first pro fight? Was it like 2014? Oh, You're dragging it down a bit there now. No, nah, 2014, 2014 I was in jail, bros. You were, was it pre-jail or...? Yeah, pretty sure. Was it 2004? Yeah, no. Nah, so I was in, yeah, it was like back in, um, no, nah, 2004. No, nah, it was 2011, I think it was. Yeah, right. That was your like debut roughly, ish, roughly. Roughly. That's as a pro. And yeah. boom, to come back yeah. 12 years later. Yeah. So that's it. You know, You're so, in 2023 now, yeah? yeah? Yeah. So to come back, I mean, I've been fighting. So since I've been back in the ring, I've been, I worked it out the other day. It was 14 months. So 14 months from my first fight back, and now I've had four fights. I was going to say four or five, eh? Yeah, man. Quick four fights and w, yeah, WBA Oceania champion. I remember um, before, like, when you were, you, was it not this fight, the last fight, you fl when did you go into state for one? Into uh, state? The the but the last one was like a body shot or as well, was it? Yeah, so my first fight back, my first fight back after those years was a Body shot within 12 seconds of the first round. Is that Melbourne? Queensland. Queensland? Burley Heads. No shit. Yeah, man. Yeah, so that was... That was that <laughs> drive was, up, that drive was, back. Yeah, well, we pretty much just went up there. Like, we had a few days to acclimatise and stuff like that for the weather. Like, I always like to do that when I go into state. 
Um, and then especially um, Queensland, it's fucking filthy oh, humidity. It over is, there. yeah, it is. And then so I went up there, and then yeah, like, it was pretty much just like body shot bang. Was that a real big hunt? Um, he was the real chunky one. There was a real chunky nah, one. No, no, no. That dude was like, he was my third fight back. And that he's was 160 a kilos. Big motherfucker, they, man. Yeah, they told, <laughs> yeah, they told me. They, he got slept hard too, man. It was he, bad. He went, he went he, <laughs> no, I, I thought he was dead, man. That, no, it was that bad though because he was so big. The fall was that bad. I, the fall would have hurt him yeah, more I than th- the bro, they, he, la- he landed on his head. I thought they were going to have to crane him out, man. Like, I was like, <laughs> nah, I seriously did. I thought about it and I thought like he, he just got slept hard and then he was just not waking up. And, and then he woke up and you were like, fuck. Yeah and, I, and, I, and I, yeah, and I'm standing there and people are like, oh, you know, like everyone's coming up to me like, oh, you know. and it's oh, like, might as well finish it. Yeah, yeah, might as well. Do you want some ice? Um, yeah, maybe just a little bit. Of, well, what do you got, one piece of ice left there? No, nah, there's more than one. That's all right. It's all good. Figure it out. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, nah, like that guy there though was, um, yeah, he was a massive, they told me it was 110 kilos. And fucking then, what his yeah. foot is and then I heard yeah and then I heard him reading <laughs> was a I, big I, heard, unit. I heard him reading out his weight and his weight was like 160 kilos and he I was, was like, a big cunt man yeah and then um yeah and then he yeah he went to sleep hard and um but look look uh, like I said like hats off to him for like getting in there and having a crack but um you know maneuvering like maneuvering 160 kilos around the ring is a little bit of a like a bit of a mission you know people don't realise you know you look at him like oh you know he's a big fat dude but it's like he's going to stay there. It's a lot of weight. Yeah, it's a lot of weight to move, and it's like you can't go to the body like on someone like that. They've got so much padding. You know, they've got they actually do, man. Like they've got so much padding covering the liver, covering that area. So it's like you don't want to go to the body. You're going to go to the head, and that's what I did. I went to the head, and you know the first right hand that landed just like pretty much slapped him, and then like the referee obviously hadn't spotted it yet, and I knew he was gone, and then I just fucking kept hitting him, and then. Do you know what fucking amazes me to this day? I will. Because Mike Tyson is probably my like all time favorite fighter to watch. Yeah. But just I love watching hit it, seeing him hit pads. Yeah. Still to this day, him hitting pads is awesome. He is so good. Mm. Like to the point, if he did the right amount of steroids, he'd be able to beat. Yeah. If he got some quickness back, I don't know. He's probably too old now. No, nah, he is getting up there a fair bit. Like he's, he's probably too old, but he's 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 an explosive. He's machine. just a. Fucking yeah. it's free. Just that, it's that explosive His style. legs. Yeah, his it, legs. That's what I mean. It's that explosive style of like, because when you're a shorter fighter, when you're, you know, like him and I are both pretty much the same height. His ability to get in. Yeah. Your head movement's really good too. Yeah, but it's that, it's that style of being able to, um, you know, slip out the way, move, 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 and then come up from the inside and underneath. Yeah, your head, that's your it. head moving actually is really yeah, good. It works. It works really well against the taller the opponent, the better. I I prefer to. Fly.